as predicted, Alex Leatherwood has been added to the active roster, bringing it back to a full 53-man squad. I expect Leatherwood to be active this weekend, but I still expect Riley Reef to get the start at right tackle. We'll get more into that in just a moment. Today's injury report came out. Armand Watts returned to practice in full. Larry Borum missed his third consecutive practice and has been ruled out for Sunday's game in Dallas. This means we will have a new starter at right tackle. The logical choice, in my opinion, would be Riley Reef, who has taken most of the reps on the right side in practice this week. There were some reports that Leatherwood got some reps with the first team as well, and Coach Eberflus declined to answer who would start the game. Surprise, surprise. I expect Riley Reef to start for Larry Borum with Alex Leatherwood serving as the swing tackle. It's possible they want to get Leatherwood some reps in this one. We will see. Honestly, I feel okay with Riley Reef. He's a former first round pick and a solid veteran who has 10 plus years of experience at left and right tackle. He was one of the better starting linemen for the Bengals last season before an injury ended his season. I don't think Reef is nearly as powerful as Borum in the run game but he might offer more reliable pass protection. I also thought this would be a good time to take a look at the updated depth chart and just give you guys a peek at what that's looking like on the offense. You can see we have a lot of guys on the IR. Cody Whitehair, Lucas Patrick, Doug Kramer, Byron Pringle. We are going to be without three of our five initial starting linemen from the beginning of the season this week as Larry Borum's missing the game. Lucas Patrick's out and Cody Whitehair's out as well. On defense, I also want to just take a peek at the depth chart, especially since Robert Quinn's gone. I would expect this to bring in another defensive end at some point. Right now we have four out there with Travis Gibson, Alquadine Muhammad, Dominique Robinson, and Jonathan Kingsley. At this point, we are unsure who's going to start in Robert Quinn's spot. It could be Dominique Robinson with Travis Gibson rotating in on both sides, or it could be Travis Gibson starting over there and Dominique Robinson rotating in on both sides. At this point, it's to be determined. But I just wanted to give you guys a quick peek at the depth chart so we could look at that, what it looks like going into our eighth game of the season. A lot has happened this year, so it is. So I did just want to kind of give you guys a look at that if you guys want to look over for yourself. I do have two more All-22 videos in the works, guys. I'm hard at work on those right now, so I'm going to get back to that. I just wanted to give you guys this update. Larry Borum is out for Sunday's game, and I'm expecting Riley Reef to get the start. Please hit that like button for me, guys, and until next time, bear down.